your local two weather authority forecast with meteorologist John Mayer. All right, welcome back, everyone. Well, we are continuing to see really more of the same out there early on this morning. Not a whole lot of change in our forecast over the past couple of days, and that means more of those warmer temperatures and a little bit of rainfall just outside of our viewing area. Unfortunately, it's been around us, but it's never quite made its way down into West Texas just yet. We've got that rain to our north, rain to our west, but none of it making its way into West Texas. Now, we are seeing at least a couple of showers in Eddy and Lee County. It's something, it's a start, but if we can get some of that rain to push its way down into the Trans-Pecos and move into the basin. That would really be perfect out there, but unfortunately, that's not going to be the case today or tomorrow. A little bit later on in the weekend, maybe we could see a chance for some of that rain coming back around, but until then, low pressure remains in place over New Mexico, going to continue to give us more of those showers off and on throughout the rest of the day today, especially into this afternoon. But again, all of that rain staying just outside of our viewing area. Our hour-by-hour -hour forecast showing exactly that. We're staying completely clear and dry into this afternoon, but just off to our west, we get rain and rain of plenty out there. In fact, we're basically surrounded by showers and storms on almost all sides. Sure, nothing off to our east, but to our west, we've got plenty of activity. It just doesn't make its way into West Texas, and that's exactly the problem that we're going to be dealing with today and tomorrow, continuing to stay dry out there. If we get just a little bit of rain, it would help out our temperatures, but that's not going to happen just yet. Now, another thing that we're seeing is a lot of moisture off to our east, but, well, we're actually actually looking fairly dry. A week ago, we were hot and we were muggy, but now things are starting to dry out for us. We're beginning to see those falling humidity values, and at least that means we don't have to deal with that sort of sticky heat into this afternoon. But, well, hey, we would trade that for a little bit of rainfall in a heartbeat. Just not going to be the case just yet. Now, early morning temperatures starting off in the 70s across most of the state, but we're a little bit cooler out there. We're actually seeing some of those 60s beginning to settle in for us, 68 in Seminole and Snyder. 69 in Odessa Midland and 65 down in Alpine. We do still have our fair share of those lower 70s, but at least it's not quite as warm as it has been the last couple of days. And that'll be the case throughout the rest of the day today. Just staying a little bit cooler than what we've seen recently. Upper 80s by lunchtime and mid 90s towards this afternoon. Still just a little bit above average, just a single degree above average, but at least we're not talking triple digit highs. So this is good news for us when we can start to see a little bit of cooler air heading our way. Now, triple digits, not completely out of the forecast. Still a chance for 101 in Carlsbad. We got a couple more of those 100 degree temperatures, 102 in Barstow and Pecos. But thankfully, most of us are looking at those more like mid 90s across the majority of the viewing area. Into the Davis Mountains, we're actually seeing stuff that looks a little bit closer to upper 80s out there. It is just a little bit cooler throughout the rest of the day today. But into this weekend, that's when we really get the chance to mix things up a bit. Rainfall heading our way by Sunday afternoon and evening into the start of next week. Could see at least a few showers and storms out there to help us out a bit. Notice we get a lot cooler by Sunday and into Monday, but then unfortunately Wednesday, Thursday of next week heating right back up. A return to near triple digit highs a little bit later on next week.